I haven't used these um, fluorescent paints before, but uh, they look like a lot of fun. So maybe I'll just start by putting a few um, patches, random patches, on these gessoed pages and see how the, you know, how the colors um, look and feel on paper. Well, it's definitely fluorescent. I'm just gonna do little patches and. See. something in black with um, uh, one of the stamps that I created yesterday um, actually I made this one um, this morning just um, hand carved it out of um, this special uh, rubber this is another one I made before well just yesterday actually and this one last night just watching TV so I'm thinking let's do some slightly bolder marks with um, this black it's actually a dark grey ink and I'm using the stays on ink pad see how that looks I'll put a few across the page this is my first time using it pretty cool love that I'm gonna do another one on the other side to get a little bit of symmetry on my two pages here the other imprints for another time just to get rid of most of the ink and I'm still going to clean that up a little bit so the time that I spent last night carving this maybe I don't know how long it took um, I'm, you know, I'm just kind of winging it. I'm not really following any particular technique. So, but I probably took at least an hour, an hour and a half, possibly even. So that was worth the time. And since I was just keeping an eye on TV anyway, and not, there's never anything interesting on TV here, that was time well spent. Please with that. Um, I could continue the black on here. Or maybe I'll just try my other stem. So this is like a sort of a circle with a leaf inside, a bit of a sort of abstract um, kind of design. I wasn't aiming with for anything too uh, too fancy, but I think it'll be quite effective to have that once it's printed. So I'm going to use the black again, or the dark grey, I should say. Again, it's my first time using this one since I only carved it um, actually just this morning. <laughs> uh, let's do one a bit off the page here. Cool. Yay, I love this. I know I'm biased, I'm sorry, but that, that looks cool bananas. Love it. Really love, 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 love it. All right, I'm just cleaning that up a little bit without putting too much paint on the actual stamp. And I've got another one, uh, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just wait a little bit. Shall I? Yeah, I'll wait a little bit and use it a bit later, maybe. Um, let's add another color. Um, how about something a little bit contrasting and not so bright? I'm thinking... Uh, maybe a light blue. I'm just going to move my... I should have done that before, but move my trolley of paint nearby and not too close to the heater so it doesn't... I don't get any damage. Uh, so I'm thinking... Maybe this blue would be quite cool. Um, it's called Colony Blue. And that's by the Josanias brand. Got some 
some gesso in this little container. The type of gesso that I bought is a little bit bigger and a bit more awkward to get the stuff out of. So I just have a, you know, a smaller one that I could put my fingers in. It's a little bit more practical. I'm going to do some circles here. Yeah. And of course you can use your white gesso as a um, almost a white paint. Can't see it, never mind. He'll just have to trust me. <laughs> Alright. dry so I like the effect that um, that I got here a bit of texture in the corner here this area here and here's funky lines so next um, I think I'm going to add continue adding some a black um, element on top of that as you can see the white has helped me Turned down the background, which was very busy and bright before, so that's sort of toned down the whole thing, which is um, which is good. I'm happy with that so far. And I'm thinking of using um, that stamp I had before, which is this one that I handmade, and bringing it back that design a little bit uh, with the dark grey ink. Just because it feels good having this sort of organic um, element on the page. I'm going to place it somewhere else. On top of this uh, grungy, messy background. I find that it contrasts quite well. do much here so I'm a little bit busy already stands out too much. I think it needs some um, stronger elements somehow on this page. So I'm going to let this dry and have a little think about it and uh, be right back with hopefully something of interest. <laughs> Wish me luck! <laughs>
end of the way I like to add a little texture really easily and also some of the of that metallic gold that I love is just to use um, the ink pad itself as a stamp and just going over my page in random patches that gives me a few thin lines as I go along make sure that your page is totally dry otherwise you'll have paint on your pad which is not a good thing but I do have those I do like those lines I get from it and depending on the pressure you're using you can add more ink in areas and less in others this helps unifying the whole page too I'll show you what it looks like if the camera picks it up I'll come close so I don't know if you can see some of these lines and the gold come a little bit closer it's a bit hard to pick it up but it works and it's subtle at the same time but depending on how you look at it you know you'll see different things popping out of the page which is cool and I think the last step I'm going to do is to add some big white dots I don't want to go with little white dots like I normally do because this is more of a sort of a chunky grungy kind of page you don't want the things to be too pretty and detailed to a point but not too you know um, flourished if that's a word <laughs> probably not but I can make up my own that's all right um, so I'm going to use um, actually something I haven't tried it but I've seen people do is just to use the eraser from the end of your pencil as a little stamp and that seems to work quite well so I'm going to dip that in white paint and make some little dots happy little dots actually that works great once you get some uniform um, little circles not too much paint but it does give you a little texture if you have quite a bit on there so that's all right And I think I'm going to stop for now although I do feel like um, this would be a good place to put a quote or a sentiment um, of some sort I'm not quite sure yet so I'm gonna let this dry and have a little think about it because I think it will just actually would be perfect for this page be back in a sec well what I was thinking of my next and hopefully final step um, the night started falling so I had to put the lights on so I apologize for any shadows you might see on my pages and of my head because of the light behind me um, but anyway so I was looking for an inspiring quote and um, I went to my one of my Pinterest boards um, where I collect um, some words that I find inspiring and um, decided to go with a quote that says do it with passion or not at all because well it kind of reflects um, part of the journey that I took on this page of um, creating something well first that I wasn't that comfortable with to, to start but that I did anyway until I felt happy and um, and art is a passion that anyone can develop and I hope that you're by watching this video it's inspiring you and also making it develop um, in you if that makes sense um, just like it develops um, in me and in the process that I am showing you today and um, but anyway so if you're interested in finding a few quotes or learning about some of the ones that I like that may also inspire 
inspire you, feel free to go to pinterest.com and you can find me there under the username Mimi Bondi. So that's really easy. You'll find all the boards that I've got on there. Um, I've got a lot of uh, mixed media inspiration, um, abstract art as well, and lots of whimsical girls and whimsical flowers and all sorts of things that are really fun and colorful and positive as always. You know, that's my message. So um, let's just come back to the quote and to finish the page, I'm going to use some gesso to mask some areas where I'm going to write the quote. And just again, going with the grungy look and the messy style. I'm going to just rub it on there basically. I know it looks messy, but <laughs> we'll see how we go. So I think I'm going to do, um, do it with passion quite big here and oh, not at all down there. So this is going to give me a, a nice sort of little background for my words to be easily readable as the page is quite busy and quite colourful. So I'm going to dry this off as usual and come back to write it. So I could use um, some an alphabet stamp to do this which would give me a very neat result but you know, grungy messy, free-flowing is the key here. So I'm going to do it with a paintbrush. That way that will be a lot more difficult to control and it will give me a lot um, more of a, an organic result, I guess. So I'm going to go with a, a fine tip and I'm going to use the liquid acrylic I had before. But I'm going to put in a little bowl, a little bit easier than dipping in there because I can't really see how much I've got left in right at the bottom now. So I'm going to pour a little bit here. That'll be a lot easier to write and ink would do just fine as well here. But regular acrylic wouldn't work, it's just too thick. So you need something quite liquid. So remember the quote was do it with passion or not at all. I'm going to put You can see I'm running out a little bit of space there. <laughs> that happens quite often actually when I do this. So I'm going to put the... Actually, I may just fit it in. That's all right. I thought I might need to add more white gesso behind, but that's all right. It's still readable.
gonna pour the extra paint I've got in here back in the bottle. No need to waste it, especially when uh, products are not the cheapest things on the market. Put as much back as I can. And you know what? I think I think I'm finished with this. Yeah. I think I'm done. And I make a mess while I'm saying this. <laughs> I think I'm done with this. I'm going to clean my hands properly before I pick up my journal and just uh, make it messier than it needs to be. Just so I can show you the final results. As you can see, I started with um, those fluorescent paints, but there's not that much of them left on this page. Maybe I didn't like them as much as I thought I would. Um, I think they just work a little bit better um, in very small highlights, not so much, you know, in big patches or big blobs of them. I think it's it's cool as a a subtle effect. I could have probably added a little bit more. Maybe I still can. You still, if you're still watching, I mean, congratulations and thank you so much for still being here with me. I'll just add some tiny details here. I think it looks good like that, which is subtle, you know. That'll be my lesson for today. And maybe for you too, if you haven't tried them yet. And I think those tubes of paint are going to last me a long, long time. Because if I'm only using this much, tiny, tiny bits, then uh, yeah, they're going to last me a while. Which is a good thing. Um, from memory, I got these from Amazon. From memory, they're about 10, 11 US dollars. Um, no, for in Australian dollars, I think probably about thirteen ish dollars, something like that. Thirteen Aussie dollars. Yes, I think this is the key: is just to use them in tiny dots here and there, just tiny highlight. Feel much happier that way, I think. I do like this pink, the fluorescent pink, that looks good. And um, do you like the yellow as well? The orange, not as much, I think. And the green's pretty cool too. Just add a few more. You can tell I just can't stop. Just don't want to let you go, that's why. <laughs> can't believe you've come this far. You must be motivated, guys. Thank you, and I hope this is really, um, this is giving you some inspiration and it's doing something positive out there. One last bit, I promise. There. And dot here. Wipe my finger and I swear I'm not touching it anymore. Okay, this is it, I'm done. All right. There you go, this is the final final page. Um, and I'm actually really happy with it. It looks a little bit childish and a bit crazy, but you can feel the joy and the passion in there. Um, it's all positive. I'll come a little bit closer to show you. The side and the right side. Try to show you some of the cool gold metallic effect that we've got going on here. Subtle, but um, it is there. Now you can see it a little bit more. There you go. I think you've seen enough of me or heard enough of me for today. So I'm kind of finished here. And I wish you an awesome day and make sure that you do live that day with passion. Um, I wouldn't say don't live it at all because that would be a bit weird, but 
just um, <laughs> be free and carefree and love your life.